Good morning. Looking at the forecast and I'm seeing some positive numbers ahead of us. Looking at fours and fives and twos and eights and fives and nighttime lows, you know, minus ones, minus twos, minus fives. That's really good. That's going to help me catch up on all this treatments that we haven't uh, got the opportunity to get through the entire apiary with our oxalic acid. Uh, that cold weather just kind of swept in and it kind of stalled and delayed everything. I could have had that treatment done a little bit sooner, but we're poking down into the colonies and uh, we're still seeing brood. Like these colonies have brooded a little bit later into the fall than what typically they do. And I've just found that that oxalic acid treatment with the vapor of there's so many mites late in the season underneath those cells as they, they're preparing for winter too. They know what's coming. So, I mean, they hide and they, they do everything they can to put that final push of reproduction and they're emerging with that late, late brood. And I find that when I treat with oxalic acid with that late brood in there, uh, my counts don't really move much just because there's that influx of mites that emerge from those cells. So as a rule, I've been tar targeting this late oxalic acid treatment as late as I can when there's no brood present in the colonies. So I've been getting away with a single treatment in the fall and it seems to be providing a tremendous amount of, of effectiveness. So the old saying, if it works, don't change it, right? But what it does do is it puts me into, you know, I'm pushing the boundaries on late season, pushing the boundaries on those conditions that I need to build a treat. So then, you know, I get stuck with half my apiary not treated because the cold come in. But if this warm weather prevails, if we start seeing like fives and eights and such, that's perfect treatment weather for oxalic acid. Those clusters, those bees will be you know, they'll have expanded a little bit. They'll see that sun, that fresh air. They might even fly a little bit, who knows? Not a lot, but that cluster will have broke. Like these, it's minus 10 last night. These colonies will be tight, tight. We can't get that vapor to penetrate the cluster. So, you know, sometimes patience, sometimes patience. You just gotta be patient in this business. Sometimes things come back around. But the reason why we work hard, and the reason why we put so many hours in, is because sometimes that weather doesn't come back around. Ooh, listen to the hum. Wow, this is amazing. You guys can't hear this. I don't know how many nukes I have in this spot. It'll be 400. And they are humming. Oh, I love that sound. That very low, content, maintenance roar. I think it's minus 10 right now. And just listen to that. Wow. So at any rate, this job will be Carrie's job. All the nukes are on the cement pad now. I have another couple over there, a couple few. It'll be a good day's work. Everything's together, so we won't have a lot of travel time. It's just so many hives to treat. Work, work, work. And then we have another 10 yards or so out in the main yards. Then we can fill this shed up.